Hey, as I look at you here on FaceTime, Chloe, I hope you understand this is the ultimate compliment. You don't look a lot different since I last saw you in person, you know, a handful of years ago. I don't know whether you got the good aging genes or what. I mean, obviously you're keeping in shape, but you look really good. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, you know, I didn't get hit in the face enough, I guess, during my <laughs> career. But, uh, you know what, it's funny when you take a couple of years off. And even when I got, you know, I knew I couldn't come back playing. But yeah. you always feel like... Uh, you always feel like you can still play. It's just funny. Yeah. You, know, you watch games and you go, you know, I can still play. But even now as you get older, I kinda, it's better because it kind of gets that out of my head a little bit. But, you know, I feel pretty good. Um, you know, luckily enough, I've only had a couple of surgeries when I played, which is pretty good in the hockey hockey life. So, um, And you too. I like the new flow you got going yeah. there. It's good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pandemic related. It I was, like it. It's experimental, yeah. and I guarantee I'll never, ever do it again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but at it's least good. it fits the hockey season, right? Like it, it does. You just got to get a helmet on now. Yeah. <laughs> and a birdcage. Yeah. Um, you're, you're talking about your career. And, you know, I, I think guys call it quits for a number of different reasons. Like they, they just can't keep up. Their body just won't hang in there. Or maybe their heart's not in it anymore, even for some guys. But, you know, for you, it was simply the concussions. Um, do you resent the fact that you didn't really have a choice of when it ended? And it just, it, I, I hate to see it end for you like that. Are you still, are, are you, are you getting more okay with that or how do you settle with that? Yeah. Like I said, I think as you get older and you see the younger players and you see the speed of the league and you just realize, you know, it's passed by, but you know, I'm not going to lie. It was bitter. It was, I was bitter. I was bitter at, you know, the game, myself, everything, the injuries, just because, you know, mm. I didn't want, I didn't want to end that way. I didn't, I felt like I had more game left. You know, my first year in New Jersey, once I got back and got going, I started to play kind of well again and, and probably the best I thought I played in a couple of years. And then, you know, it kind of happened again. And that was the frustrating part. You put the work in the time and then it happens again, but you realize pretty quickly that we all got to get off the train at some point and not a lot of guys go out on their, you know, their own terms. You see a, a guy who had a 15 year career and just won three cups in Chicago, Brent Seabrook, right. you know, just had to retire. And, you know, so you can say, well, he's still getting paid. And I was in a, I was lucky enough that I was under contract and, you know, whatnot, but it, it really, that almost makes it worse. Cause you feel an obligation to uphold your end of the bargain. I love Lou Lamorella who signed me. He's the best man I've ever met in hockey and it really let me down that I couldn't you know I couldn't play for him so but you know at the end of the day I knew it was I couldn't get cleared to play anyway so that made it a little bit easier I think uh, but I'm you know I'm coming around a little bit now coaching really helped that was something mm -hmm. that really helped me to stay in the game it's it's not it's not playing but it's second best and it's close as you're going to get so I really enjoyed it and you know luckily I'm feeling better